Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and just want to tell you real quick um, some of my uh, garden plans. Um, one really, just one plan. This bed here, this had um, crowder peas on this side, and it had a tomato on the, the corner, the far left corner down there, but uh, I'm planning on um, just kind of chopping up the old vines from the, um, the crowder peas, and I'm going to replace them with, look at that, there's, some, there's a weed over there. But I'm going to replace them with um, some black beans, bush beans. They're just bush beans. I cannot wait till this storm is over with, with this cold front coming, so that I can get this in the ground. And because the cilantro seeded itself over here, the cilantro was actually planted over there, um, where the, the sweet mint and the chard is growing. That's where the cilantro was, and a little bit of it was over there. Um, in its own palette, and uh, you know, seeds grow and seed themselves wherever. The grass here will be easy to pull up, the weeds will be easy to pull up, um, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not going to do that today because honestly, I don't feel like getting my hands dirty. <laughs> Plus, you know, once you get started in the garden, it's like, oh, okay, now I got to do this, and now I got to do this, and you keep finding things to do, and it's never ending. So anyway, if you remember, I had a dirt garden soil in most of these square blocks. Um, there's going to be things planted in here again. So anyway, that's my plan for this, this bed here. And it's going to be underway in just a couple of days. Getting excited, getting excited. So now you remember my 10 and 30 pallets? Well, I'm going to actually try that again. Um, we have a few more pallets. I believe you guys saw the other day where Ed had placed those. Well, you didn't see Ed doing it. I actually took credit for it. But uh, Ed had placed those in here, and um, we only have a couple of pallets with things in them right now. These are all empty. They're from uh, the last uh, planting, which was the, the 10 and 30 that didn't turn out that well. So this go around. Um, there's a still um, an onion or two growing in here and over there. Um, that squash has actually gotten four more leaves. I'm, I'm impressed. This lettuce, it's two years old now. I actually moved this lettuce in this car wash bucket from um, Tennessee. I'm kind of afraid to, to pick it up because these car wash buckets have had it. All of them are shot. We still aren't planting in this area here. This little square here, or more like a rectangle, um, has been set aside um, since the last time we had a garden out here. In fact, since the last uh, season, it was set aside so that we could put a gazebo out here. So I have a friend who wants to use some of our pallets and build a gazebo out here. So when he gets started doing that, I'll make sure that we keep a, a camera on him so that um, you guys can see the progress of it. But I'm really looking forward to that because, you know, we need more places for the spiders to hide. <laughs> There's a weed in there. Pretty much everything growing right now is a weed in here. And then we have the strawberries that uh, were only a little clump last season. They've been growing throughout the winter. 
so I'm anxious to see them. This time I think I'll clip um, any of the, uh, the flowers that I see so they can keep growing. So as you remember, we had um, yellow straight neck and crook neck squash um, growing inside the beds here, which was great as far as shade was concerned. They didn't get burned by the sun, but it gave the stink bugs and squash bugs awesome places to hide. And so they pretty much, you know, went crazy on our squash. So that's not happening this year. In case you're wondering, we are going to replant um, the wild animal food plot. There's a lot of mullein growing in there. That was pretty surprising. We didn't think, well, we knew mullein was going to spread, and it's pretty much spread all over here, even though it started right there. But something that's, that, that's interesting is more than the deer have come over here lately there's some poo from probably a raccoon or, or a possum um, there hasn't been a cat over here in a while this mullein is getting big that mullein's growing out yeah so all the mullein seed I guess blew over here which is fine with me the more mullein the better although deer don't eat mullein there's also some wild lettuce growing out of the, the mulchy, corny area. <laughs> so anyway, we're planning on burning this out, and then uh, we'll put a, a little bit of extra soil on top of the, the ash, and we'll do it that way.